Looking for some awesome surf accessories? Well, here's 20 that every surfer should have. Hi guys, Chris from Stoke Patrol here. Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Now today we're gonna to be talking through the best surf accessories out there. So whether you're a new surfer, an experienced surfer, or you're looking for the best surf gifts for the surfer in your life, here are 20 awesome surf accessories that every surfer should have. So yeah, let's jump straight in. So we're gonna kick things off with the wetsuit bucket or changing mat. Now I don't know about you, but I hate having to wash out a sandy, dirty wetsuit after a day at the beach. Uh, so these things really negate that issue. Um, you can do things like the Creatures of Leisure uh, fold down wetsuit bucket, or even just like a $10 builder's bucket from your local hardware store. I stand in mine in the beach car park, peel off my wetsuit straight in it, straight in the back of the car, and you're good to go. Now, one of my personal favorite surf accessories is the FCS Ratchet Tool. Uh, now, this handy little gadget always lives in my car and is a great accessory for any surfer. Um, it can handle all the fin types that you need, so FCS 1, FCS 2, future fins and also longboard fins as well. There's a few little head adapters in there that allow you to easily screw in and screw out. And you can adjust the torque as well to really make your life a lot easier. That's a really handy one to put in your car. Um, there's also another little head on there that really helps if you've kind of rounded out the fin screw as well. So if you do get into trouble with that, there's a nice little tool in there that will help you get that one out nice and clean. Now let's move on to some sun safety and zinc is definitely on the list. Uh, for me, it is a must when surfing out in Australia or any tropical surf trip. Uh, it's just that little bit of added protection on top of your sunscreen. Uh, for me, sun and earth zinc is my go-to. I really like the consistency. It's held up in all the surfing spots that I've covered on my trips over the last few years. And it also smells really nice too. So yeah, sun and earth zinc for the win. Now for me personally, earplugs are also another surf accessory I can't go without. Uh, all of us want to avoid surfers' ear, ear infections, and of course things like perforated eardrums as well. And earplugs are definitely the best way around this. Uh, now for me, I've got a set of custom-made earplugs, which are great. They're a little bit more expensive, but they are obviously perfect fit in my ears and do the job. And they last for years as well. In fact, I had my first pair for about 10 years before I accidentally lost them and had to get them replaced. Uh, if you don't want to spend a whole heap of money or you need them a little bit quicker, surf ears are a great option as well. Um, they come with a few little attachments so they can fit the size of your ear. For me personally, they didn't fit as well as the custom plugs as expected, uh, but they're a great alternative as well. Guys, we've got to stop leaving our car keys on the arches of our wheels in the car park. Invest in a key safe. It's definitely one of the surf accessories I most recommend. And there's a whole heap on the market. You can get them cheaper, you can get them more expensive. For me, the Creatures of Leisure key safe is my go-to. They last absolutely ages, are really robustly built, and of course, really nice and safe and secure. So yeah, do yourself a favor, get yourself a key safe. Now for those of you out there still using FCS2 fins, the fin removal tool is a definite surf accessory you should add to your kit bag. I uh, don't know about you, but I've cut my hands on them a few times, kind of punctured a few little holes in my boards, kind of clipping the FCS2 fins out. Uh, but this fin removal tool makes it really nice and simple. It just clips over the top and then you wrench it out nice and easy. So yeah, fin removal tool. Building up a quiver of boards, well, you're gonna need somewhere to store them and a surf rack is definitely a surf accessory that you should be investing in. Uh, not only are they practical in the sense that they store your boards, but they can also show off your prized possessions too. Uh, and there's a whole heap of surf racks to choose from out there. There's like DIY options that you can get on kind of Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree, all those professional companies where you can buy pre-made racks from as well. There's a really cool company out there called Quiver. Uh, they do some really nicely designed surf racks and they're also expandable as well. So if you add a new board to your Quiver, you can just add a bolt on section and expand your surf rack as well. Next off, we're gonna keep things nice and simple with a dustpan and brush. Now, I don't know about you, but my girlfriend absolutely hates the fact our car and the front part of our house resemble a beach most of the time. So a dustpan and brush is a really good investment. Uh, keep it in your car, keep your car nice and clean. Keep one by the door in the house as well so you can brush your feet off after a good day at the beach and keep them nice and happy. Now we've all made the mistake of leaving our surf wax in our car at some point, coming back and it's melted all over the dashboard, into the upholstery, everything like that. Invest in a nice, simple wax storage container and you can completely avoid this problem. Just a couple of bucks and obviously you can then cool it down and it remolds in the pot as well. So yeah, wax storage container, a definite surf accessory for everyone. 
Now it's super important to keep hydrated pre and post surf. So a decent water bottle is a great investment and a surf accessory everyone should have. Uh, for me, I use a great uh, option by the Buy Lily shop here in Byron Bay. It's a really nice big water bottle and the opening is big enough that you can pop some ice cubes in there as well. So an insulated water bottle is a great investment. And alongside your reusable water bottle, a reusable coffee cup is a must as well. Uh, whether you're taking it to your favorite takeaway to get your pre-surf uh, coffee, or you're like me and you just want to keep a nice hot cup of tea in the car to warm up after a nice winter session, a reusable coffee cup is another great accessory to have. Now, if you love geeking out with stats, then a surf watch is another surf accessory that's a great option to have. Obviously, it's not the cheapest option on the list, but I really enjoy tracking all my sessions with my surf watch. Um, make sure you check out my full review of the Dawn Patrol surf app uh, for all the details on that. But yeah, something like the Apple Watch or another dedicated surf watch, another great surf accessory. And of course, you want to keep all your valuables safe and secure at, while you're at the beach. So you want to keep them dry and sand free. And that's where a dry bag definitely comes into its own. Uh, so whether you're getting one of the cheaper ones from Amazon, like the smaller kind of 10 liter ones, or you wanna go all out with something like the Creatures of Leisure S-Lock dry bag, which is like a full backpack style, a good dry bag is a great investment. Uh, they're also really good if you're heading off on a surf trip where you've got kind of boat transfers or things like that, it's just gonna keep everything safe and secure. Doing a full day at the beach, well, a beach umbrella or gazebo style setup is a solid option for chucking in the back of your car. Uh, whether you're doing one of those kind of standard kind of brawly style setups or you want to go something like the Cool Cabanas, uh, which is the more gazebo style ones, covers a bit more area and is a bit more safe and secure in the wind. They're really good for a full day mission at the beach. And continuing with the sun safety, a surf hat is an absolute must. Uh, for me, the Kyola surf hat range is my go-to. Uh, check out the link in the description below for my full review of their range. Uh, they do both bucket hat and trucker hat style. But yeah, a solid surf hat will keep you sun protected no matter what the waves are doing. It's happened to everyone. You've got to the beach and you've dinged your favorite board and you need to get it all fixed before you paddle out. You don't want to be chucking wax into any kind of dings. That's a really bad fix and your shaper is going to absolutely hate you for it. So a solid ding repair kit is another must have surf accessory. Uh, some great options out there, kind of the solar res style, which kind of curing kind of like five minutes. So you can just slap a bit on, chuck it in the sunshine and it's ready to go. Uh, if you do want to take things a step further as well, things like ding tape are another good patch uh, if you are in a bind and want to get in the water quickly. And these are great accessories for any kind of surf trip as well. Now for me personally, I usually get changed using a standard beach towel, but for a lot of my friends and a lot of my female friends especially, the surf poncho towels are a great investment. Uh, especially if you want to keep your dignity in a car park full of people, they help you keep your modesty uh, under wraps and also keep you really nice and toasty after a surf as well. So yeah, surf poncho towels. Whether you're checking the surf, driving to the surf, or just hanging out on the beach, a solid set of sunglasses is another great accessory that every surfer should have. Um, make sure you go for the polarized options. They are worth a little bit of extra money to take the glare off the water, and they're really gonna keep your eyes really nice and safe and keep them as protected as possible. After all, you only get one set, and as surfers, we are exposing them to a lot of harsh lighting. So the more protected you can keep them, the better it is. And if you want to capture all the fun and antics of your latest surf trip with your friends, a GoPro is another surf accessory that every surfer should have. Uh, whether you're capturing selfies of yourself with the nose mount on the front, or you're making a mini documentary of your latest surf trip with your buddies, uh, the Hero 10 is my personal preference. Uh, make sure you check out the links in the description below to my full GoPro surfing guide. But yeah, GoPro is another must-have surf accessory. And of course, I can't have a guide to the best surf accessories without including the humble block of surf wax. Uh, now, obviously, there's hundreds of different brands out there now. Uh, for me, I really like the eco alternatives like sticky honey wax. Uh, but if I can't get hold of that, sex wax is my go-to. Super reliable and you can get it pretty much everywhere. Uh, just make sure you get the right color temperature for the surfing conditions you're heading off to, uh, which is super important if you are heading off onto a tropical surf trip or you're heading back to some colder climates as well. Make sure you're really stocked up on wax as well. You don't want to be that person who's always scrounging for wax. So yeah, surf wax is definitely one of the best surf accessories to have in your car. And there you have it guys. Those are my top surf accessories that every surfer should have. Um, if you're looking for any of the links, um, they're all in the description below for all of the accessories mentioned in this guide. And if you have any awesome options you'd like to add to the list, make sure you add them in the comments and we can share them around. That's it for this week guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.